Hello Aries, welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna and we are doing a love reading for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So openness, you are very much open to love. You are open to different kinds of love. You're open, open, open Aries. Well, you are, that's your personality. Wisdom, you are really very wise and very focused on doing what's going to be best for the long term for you. Solitude, right now you really need time and space alone uh, to manifest what you need and want in life and that is your focus. I like it. All right, so let's shuffle the cards for our beautiful Aries friends. One more shuffle for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I recommend you watch all four, especially on the shorter readings. It's very helpful. All right, so in the recent past, you have been assessing your love life, determining what you want. Two of water, oh, that's love. You are in a love relationship that has grown quite a bit. The two of air says that right now you feel as though you need time out for yourself to think about things, to think about the direction that you want your life to go in. Oh, the strength card, fire energy also. You are courageous in love. You are uh, in it to win it for the long term. This is all about taming the beast within, but it is you coming to your love life in this way that you're attracting a like soul, a like personality. I feel that many of you are in relationship because we have this beautiful two of water. The two of water is, you know, essentially a marriage card. The two of cups is a soulmate card. And so you do have fire in your belly, but you are thinking about the relationship and how it could be improved. The page of air, that is you taking time out to take a look at the internet, to you know listen to podcasts or tarot readings in terms of how to learn about love and what you could, you know, how it could be more fulfilling for you. The five of water says that you have some significant dissatisfaction right now with your love life. The five of water is the energy that is all about you know, feeling as though you have a good relationship and yet day to day it doesn't always feel good. It's a sense of disappointment. The aid of earth, you do give it your all. You, you are doing your part. You are working hard. You're trying to figure things out uh, in terms of what you can bring. Six of air is that you want to move forward. It looks as though in the relationship you've had some some challenging issues and I don't really see it as being the two of you in love but it does look as though when we get the page of air that there could be other people that come into the relationship that cause difficulties but you are moving solidly forward and manifesting a better relationship just of your own accord you are very much feeling sentimental right now you want to tell the people that you love them. You're giving a lot of support. You're giving a lot of support to the relationship. You're very tender-hearted, and you're you're willing to talk about love, and you are communicating about your emotions with your person. The Hermit card says that sometimes you don't feel heard. Sometimes you feel very alone. The Hermit card is also really the card of searching for answers within. The nine of fire, fire in your belly for your relationship and the queen of earth. So you're bringing a lot of very practical energy to this relationship. You're very much, you're very much grounded. You know the score, you know what needs to be done. That is really the mommy card, the card of somebody who's building something for the future because you very much want long term. Uh, for your future in love. You want this relationship to work, but you need for some things to change or for some things to be tweaked. So what we have here for your outcome is a six of water. For many of you, you are longing for somebody from the past. You can see that there's a soulmate that you had, it looks like previous to this relationship, that you really yearn for. That there is a love from the past 
that is very significant and she's holding her stomach as if she's been crying for a very long time. So it does speak to the fact that you would like a reunion with someone who was, I feel, very affectionate with you. The King of Fire, we see that in your outcome that you have fire in your belly and that you are getting the stability and love that you want. You will get there. The Six of Water is a reunion. Now, this could be an actual reunion with somebody who's a fire sign, but it also is a reunion with your understanding of what you need in relationships so that you have the stamina and the ability to go fight for what you want and to manifest it in your life and to not give up until that takes place. Ah, Wheel of Fortune in your outcome says that you are on the right path, that you will soon get signs, most likely this week, that destiny is turning in your favor and that your wishes and your hopes, and you're just gonna get lucky in love. So that's what I have for your Aries. If you did like it, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't pay any attention or support the channel, so we can't continue to prove you know, to, to do content.